There is yet another legal loss for the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission seat, which is getting the attention of people who are interested in the cryptocurrency business. This time, a judge turned down their effort to control corporate cybersecurity. Many people who were against the idea praised the decision. A loud opponent is James Murphy, who goes by the names Metal Mom and on X. He said bad things about Gary Gensler, who is the head of the Securities and Exchange Commission in public. This comes at the same time as the case against XRP, which is still mainly about what the SEC did. The CC is losing another case in court because the XRP action is still going on. As the XRP case goes on, the cryptocurrency community reacts to the news that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has lost another court case. As a point of comparison, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission CC recently lost its case against SolarWinds after a huge loss. A federal judge threw out the Securities and Exchange Commission's plan to keep an eye on companies' hacking measures. This is a big decision that will have big effects. The Securities and Exchange Commission has said that it should oversee all of a public company's internal rules when it comes to cybersecurity. The U.S. District Court Judge Paul A. Angel Mayer didn't agree with this point because it would give the Securities and Exchange Commission too much power to regulate. The judge's decision at the same time brought attention to the SEC's overly broad reasoning. He said that if the SEC's reasoning were accepted, the organization would be able to be able to be in charge of things like background checks, storage padlocks, water park safety measures, and setting up passwords. In his ruling, the judge made it clear that the Securities and Exchange Commission should only be able to control finances. It shouldn't cover all internal methods, though. This decision has made a lot of businesses feel better because they no longer have to worry about the legal effects of hacks. The case started with a hack on SolarWinds in 2020. Russian hackers got into well-known tech companies and the federal government during this attack by getting into the company's software. The judge also didn't agree with the SEC's claims that SolarWinds illegally told everyone about how bad the breach was while the investigation was going on. The most recent loss for the SEC has caught the attention of people in the Ripple community. A famous lawyer named James Murphy is also a critic of the Securities and Exchange Commission. He was worried about X. Murphy's claim that the SEC's repeated losses should make Congress rethink funding for the actions that its chair, Gary Gensler, wants to take against American companies. This was especially true with the XRP case that was still going on. Murphy's criticism is hitting home with a lot of people in the XRP community right now who have been questioning how the SEC regulates for a long time. In particular, the case over XRP has been talked about a lot lately, with a lot of ideas about how the case will turn out and how likely it is that a settlement will happen. Some people think that a deal will happen soon, while others think it's very unlikely. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, is optimistic that the lawsuit will be over soon, but he hasn't given a specific date for when the disagreement will be over. As the disagreement between Ripple and the SEC drags on, the problems the SEC sees in carrying out its regulatory plan become clear. Since they lost the SolarWinds case not long ago, the Securities and Exchange Commission's SE power and way of regulating hacking are getting a lot of attention. As the XRP lawsuit goes on, people are still talking a lot about the Securities and Exchange Commission's plans and leadership, especially under Gary Gensler. XRP's price went up because of a meeting of top CSEC officials that was supposed to happen yesterday behind closed doors. XRP has been one of the most popular cryptocurrencies over the past month. There were worries about the token after it was canceled, but those worries have been put to rest and it is now selling at a profit again. As we said, the Securities and Exchange Commission second planned the meeting for Thursday, but some people in the business world have said it was between the SEC and Ripple. It wasn't made clear that the meeting was a meeting. But people thought that the head of the securities industry would talk about some of the most important problems in the cryptocurrency world, like Ethereum ETFs, finance that isn't allowed, and Ripple's lawsuit. Resolution of lawsuit claims and the starting and ending of injunctive actions were named by the Securities and Exchange Commission C as things that will be talked about at the meeting. The price of XRP hit 635 cents the day before the meeting. That was the highest it had been since the end of March. The value of the token has grown by more than 50% since July 8th, rising from $4,198 to a new high in the area. Another thing is that the Securities and Exchange Commission asked yesterday for the meeting to be canceled by putting a message on its website. In other news about the Ripple XRP case, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has rescheduled a meeting that will take place in private. This has led to talk about how this meeting might affect the current Ripple case. At first, some people in the cryptocurrency community saw this as a possible sign of progress in the ongoing legal battle. However, well-known XRP lawyer Bill Morgan quickly tried to dispel these ideas. A lawyer for XRP put an end to rumors about the planned CC meeting. The United States told the Securities and Exchange Commission that a meeting that was supposed to happen on July 18th will now happen on July 25th, Thursday. 
After hearing this news, there is more speculation in the cryptocurrency world, especially among people who are watching the case. In its press statement, the Securities and Exchange Commission pointed out three main topics that would be talked about in the private meeting. Some of these topics were setting up and resolving administrative procedures, resolving legal claims, and other things related to exams and enforcement measures. It is important to note that the first part of the release, which was about ending administrative proceedings, was highlighted. This made some people wonder what the statement was really about. As part of this latest report on the Ripple XRP case, attorney Bill Morgan talked about the rumors going around about this meeting. Morgan made it clear that the meeting doesn't apply to Ripple vs. SEC, even though there was rising speculation that this could be a sign that the long-running lawsuit was finally ending. The Ripple case has been going on since December 2020. People who work with cryptocurrencies have been keeping a close eye on the case to see if anything new has happened. And Morgan's comment, on the other hand, seems to kill any hopes that this SEC meeting will lead to a settlement of the high-profile legal case. As of now, there is no new information about why Ripple's legal settlement rumors were thrown out. Mark Fagel, who used to work as a lawyer for the SEC, has already talked about these reports. He has not changed his mind about the fact that neither side is going forward with their efforts to find a solution right now. Instead, they are both waiting for the district court to make a decision on the relief side of the case. Please be aware that the information given is not meant to be taken as business advice. Before you decide to spend, read this page carefully and understand that it does not cover any losses that may happen because of your choices. We strongly suggest that you do your own study and talk to a professional who knows what they're talking about.